I came on Ascent because a friend of mine highly recommended it. And uh, when I did some research and prayed about it, the Lord gave me a scripture to say, go up to the mountains and sing my praises. I was really encouraged by the idea of taking time out with sisters and brothers from around the world and to worship the Lord and, and, um, and to seek Him and to, to, to enter His presence. So I was really excited about that, about going up on the mountains in Israel where the kings of old have set up the altars and I just felt so inspired to come and join in that. Into the program about sort of by day seven or day eight, which already felt like about 8,000 years because <laughs> it was just so jam-packed, full of revelation and lots of amazing, amazing things that we did. I was reminded of my mom's a potter, so when I came to the Lord about 12 years ago, uh, my mom said to me that when clay stands for a long time, it gets really hard, and it has to be put in water for a long time, and then it has to go to the potter's table and work and work and back to the water and back to the table and back to the water, and it feels like that's all that's been happening in the wilderness for me for 12 years. And while I was here on Ascend, I had a many, many amazing experiences with the Lord, and it felt to me like I was finally put into the potter's kiln, which doesn't necessarily mean it's fun, but it means that I'm closer to being an honorable vessel for his kingdom purposes. And I feel like there's a rebirthing or a birthing that's taking place in the potter's kiln. Um, and it's just wonderful. We were on the, um, in the wilderness on the way to Angedi, and that is when Andre said that, look, she's coming out of the wilderness, leaning on her beloved. I felt so relieved that I'm coming out of the wilderness after 12 years. I would highly recommend Ascent to anybody, anybody who is hungry to spend time in the presence of the Lord and to come up here on Mount Carmel and to spend time with this wonderful team who is walking in their calling of the Lord with the Lord. It's like a gap. It's like a space that is being created and, and it's not just being created, but they hold it and they keep it so safe for us to just go into the presence of the Lord and for our hearts to be poured out and cleansed. And, and I just feel at the, end of this, uh, at the end of the 10 days, I'm clearer about who God made me to be and what his calling is for me and where that all fits into Israel and the body of Christ and I almost want to say don't continue your life without coming here all right <laughs> to sum up ascend in one word is firstly very difficult because there's so many things but I would definitely say it's like the picture I'm seeing is like is is um, when you've driven with your 4x4 four four through, the, through the muddy roads and the, the windscreen is so dirty and you're in the wilderness and everything and you just put on the wipers and you just wipe it clean and you can see again where you're going. Oh, that was many words, wasn't it? A vision clearer, that's a hyphenated one word. word.